We are kicking some dust and touchdown. We landed on the moon. Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Pietro and in this video I'm gonna show you how to build a very easy straightforward rocket to land on the moon in Kerbal Space Program 2 by using a very small amount of parts to reduce the complexity and also the lag and the FPS induced by the rocket while flying it and also while building it. Why is that? Because well right now KSP2 is in a situation in which there is a real problem with the FPS and in my case I'm playing on a hardware that does not meet the minimum requirements of the game therefore I prefer to stay in the safest regime as possible therefore you can see me building the rocket in a very straightforward manner just putting together some fuel tanks using a mainsail here a poodle in the previous stage because they make the rocket stable they have transvectoring control they are of the same size of the tanks therefore there is no need to add additional struts the rocket is not gonna be wobbly i added the parachute obviously at the top did not put um, any parts that we do not use like rcs thrusters tanks batteries and stuff like that are not a necessity for this kind of mission here I'm checking if the Delta V is enough for what we have to do and obviously it seems like it's not but it's just because the trip planner in game does not take into account that we do not have to really go back into low curb in orbit we simply are gonna perform an aero break and then our uh, spacecraft is gonna land thanks to the atmosphere drag obviously I was forgetting about putting some landing legs which are kind of important I just put three usually we go for four but in the the intent of reducing the number of parts used and also since we are simply landing on the moon there is not gonna be any problem i put close to that terrier engine three landing legs and try to lower them a little bit to make sure that they hit the surface of the moon and not the the engine obviously i checked my staging and now there's nothing more to do than just simply ready up for a launch so here we are at the launch pad and now we're saying already goodbye to it it's gonna be a simple straightforward launch simply hold the vertical position until 5000 meters and then start tilting the rocket to the east using the on the keyboard i reduced a little bit the throttle since the uh, mainsail has a very high thrust for the level that we need and then going practically horizontal after the staging throttling up the poodle engine since it's better have it at max thrust for the kind of rocket that we have i forgot about doing it and i'm gonna do it about uh, now and then i usually stay in this position until my ap my apoapsis doesn't reach 120 kilometers of height but since the beginning of the burn of the launch this time was a kind of vertical i prefer to stay horizontal until my speed was catching up to get the ap to 1050 kilometers above the surface of Kerbin, and then going to the ap and performing the circularization burn before starting to study the maneuver planner to go to the moon reaching it the first few times can be kind of tricky but you're gonna get the handle of it quite quickly so let's start setting things straight we set the man as our target we create a maneuver plan and then we drag our prograde vector trying to have an interception with the man we can then move around our orbit by clicking on the maneuver planner and dragging it around to see at which position our PE gets the lowest around the man with the delta the delta v that we are giving in this planned maneuver and that's what i'm doing here i arrive in a position that makes me impact the man and then i drag back therefore i can uh, go burn a little less uh, dragging a little bit the indicator of retrograde to have a PE that is above the surface of the man so now i have the maneuver i can just go on and perform it we have plenty of delta v in our second stage and so we are going to be able to complete more than this maneuver just utilizing it no need to start the latest stage of our craft here i run into the problem that switching by the normal view to the camera view the maneuver node resets itself therefore i just decided to delete it and eyeball it until i was gonna get a value of height of the pe that i liked and here i am fine tuning it right now and so we have our encounter we are gonna get 
at about 40 kilometers from the orbit uh, from the surface of the moon inside of its sphere of influence the two blue clusters of uh, circumferences there show where we're gonna enter and where we're gonna exit the sphere of influence and now that we are inside we can just time warp until we get to the pericenter and there make a circularization burn by burning retrograde slowing down our velocity around the moon and getting captured inside of a circular orbit around it and now therefore we can proceed with the landing what we are gonna do is decide on which side of the moon we want to land and i decided to land on the sun facing side that looks also in the direction of curbing so therefore about there so what i do is go on the opposite side of the man and burn retrograde there to lower my periapsis so that it is above the location in which i want to land of about five 10 kilometers something like that here i overdid it so i had to go back why are we doing this well because it's also what it's done in real life and what also the apollo missions used to do they started from a circular orbit above the uh, surface of the moon, the moon, not the moon for them, and then lower the PE of the lamb, and from there started the burn to finally decrease the velocity enough to start going vertical and landing over the surface. So it's what we're gonna do. Once we did this, we can just time warp until we get to the correct location and then from there activate our engines and slowing down again by burning, obviously, retrograde. So burning in the direction in which we are going with our engines, slowing down our velocity, trying to not make it vertical too much, too fast, otherwise we are gonna start dropping down and hitting the surface very hard, which is not gonna be a good landing, but keeping it horizontal for as much as we can until we do not reduce it at a manageable speed. Since we were getting kind of close to the surface, I decided to get a read of the second stage, even if we had some delta V there, but we have more than plenty enough on our main stage too, therefore there was no need of using it, and then started to go progressively and progressively vertical. I prefer controlling myself, the spacecraft, during this situation, and not asking to the SAS to automatically the retrograde position, just because this allows me to fine-tune the velocity even when it's slower, making sure that I stay as much vertical as possible, and not starting to slide around as otherwise it would do. We used a Terrier engine which has more than enough TWR uh, thrust to weight ratio on the grav in the gravity of the man for this spacecraft. Therefore, I decided to reduce a little bit its maximum thrust using the thrust limiter to have some more fine control for, uh, for the landing. I put the Terrier and not the Spark that would have already had enough TWR to land the spacecraft on the man just because this specific engine has a higher ISP, so a higher efficiency, therefore it gets us more delta V for the same amount of uh, fuel. Here we are practically going vertical down to the surface of the moon and easy peasy uh, throttling our engine up and down to make sure that we do not kill our speed too fast, otherwise we start going back up. Meanwhile, we got down to the last 30 meters, a velocity of 2.1 meters per second, kicking some dust from the ground, throttle at 20%, trying to keep the velocity vector vertical, and slowly and so carefully going down and landing safely and successfully on the man in KSP2. So, yeah. Congratulations, we got more than halfway through these missions without any problems, I guess it was fine for everyone. And here I am trying to get some cool screenshots of the situation and stuff like that. I wanted to go on EVA with my Kerbal, but the game did not allow me to. And also I noticed that we were with our engine touching the ground, so I tried to move around the capsule a little bit, the spacecraft to orient it in a better way, but it started to flip over. Therefore, I figured that it was better just simply leaving. No flag planted today, unfortunately. I don't know why the game did not let me get Bill out of the spacecraft. It happened also uh, yesterday when I was trying to do a mock-up of this mission with the Jebediah, so I don't know, poor Kerbas cannot uh, do EVAs in this safe file, apparently. And nothing, the trajectory that we need to follow to get into orbit back around the moon is simply 
pointing uh, towards the east, since also the man rotates counterclockwise as seen from the north, like Kerbin does. Then I like to burn more or less at the 90 degree marker over the nav ball that takes us in a parabolic trajectory with uh, a AP of about 50 kilometers. That's where I like to stop, since there it's where you unlock the um, faster time warp levels with respect to what you can do uh, before, and then simply again burning uh, in the probably direction once we get to the AP to circularize and get in an easy simple circular orbit around the surface of the moon. Now it's then the time to make another burn to inject ourselves in a carbon re-entry trajectory, escaping the sphere of influence of the moon and putting our PE inside of the atmosphere of curbing. So similarly to what we did before, we create the maneuver, we drag the prograde vector a little bit, and then we move around the maneuver plan to try and understand from which position we obtain the best trajectory and then fine tune it using prograde and retrograde to lower our PE so that it is inside of the atmosphere of curbing. I usually aim for a height of about 30 kilometers from above the ground, which is perfect from a re-entry from the moon and survivable even when the heating features are gonna be activated in Kerbal Space Program 2, therefore we're gonna have to install a heat shield on our spacecraft. Once we're gonna get at the beginning of the atmosphere of Kerbin, we can just detach from the upper stage of our spacecraft. I like to aim in the normal or anti-normal position so that when I detach the stage it does not risk of hitting back my spacecraft and then nothing simply time warp at the maximum speed which inside of the atmosphere is times 4 and get ready to deploy the parachute once below the speed of sound so below 343 meters per second at a height of about i don't know 5 kilometers or something like that and then having it deployed at 1 kilometer above the ground and landing or splashing down depending on where we are gonna be with respect to the surface of Kerbin. I had uh, the helmet of Bill clipping through the backside of the spacecraft, all normal, luckily enough there is no heat effect therefore we do not need to worry about uh, our poor Kerbal getting burnt and uh, nothing, this is our mission to the man and back. I edited a little bit the footage in these images here to make sure that we could see the capsule also in the night side of Kerbin, but maybe it was not feasible, therefore there you go, we had the capsule, it is indeed landed safe and sound with our Kerbal inside, we concluded the mission. So I just wanna thank you for visiting uh, the man with me, I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you found this tutorial useful, consider maybe subscribing for other KSP2 videos and tutorials on my channel. I wish you a good day and talk to you later. Bye bye!